Kai Chef, a men's singles player and also a chair of the Athletes Commission. A busy week for you here in Belgium. Uh, let's take the on-court stuff first. Uh, beating Felix Burstedt from Sweden, how do you see your performance? Oh, it was really good today. Um, like I'm feeling quite well on court the last weeks and yeah, it's always tough against him because he's a really good player. But today I, had, I played really, really good, especially in the first set. I played fast and I yeah, made it like really the court really far for him, like he has to move a lot, so I'm, I'm really confident about my performance. Looking at your results, the, half, the last half a year actually, it's just been going better and better for you. Um, what are your expectations here in, in Leuven? Oh, I, I'm, taking I'm taking it step by step, like uh, the next match will be tough again, but uh, I know I can beat all the players here, so I try to focus on my game, if I'm playing 100% or my best level, um, they have to beat me, so yeah, that's that's my goal for this tournament, or yeah, every tournament, I guess. If everything turns out well for you this week and you actually go all the way to the final, you might be a very, very busy man because there's also a, a strategic meeting uh, with the board of directors on, on, on Saturday. Uh, try to put some words to, to this week of yours, actually. Oh, it's quite interesting, but uh, I like it because... Um, like you said, you, we focus on court, or we focus on court the first uh, in, uh, part of the interview. But I like to yeah, focus uh, also on like the off court things. And if I have like something in my mind which is not relating to my match, it's always fine for me. So uh, it may be busy, but uh, I like it. A strategic uh, meeting plan um, plan meeting is going to happen on on, on Saturday. Um, yeah. Uh, from the Athletes Commission, what, what do you actually want to focus on in, in the next uh, one, two, three, four, five years? Uh, first of all, you have to say that I think we're going in the right direction in Europe. Um, for example, with the High Performance Center, it's very nice for the players. Uh, but there are a lot of things we, we can improve, um, like... Uh, yeah, like um, we want to, like in Basel, the World Championships, it was also nice that we have the power athletes on, in the same venue. That's the thing, because now we have also a power representative in our commission. So that's the part we focus on. Um, yeah, and there are a lot of uh, things more. Like, uh, yeah, also at tournaments, there are a lot of things to improve, like uh, service for the players, like if there's a player's launch or something like that. That's, yeah. That's the key points we're looking for. You've been uh, including in, in, in the politics in badminton Europe for, for quite some time now. You say that you're on, on the right track uh, and badminton Europe is on the right track. What has been the biggest improvement since you uh, stepped into the commission? Uh, I'm, I'm in the commission since a year, so it's not that long. Um, but uh, yeah, we made some improvement with the engagement of the players, actually. That was a big problem at, uh, in the beginning. Like we couldn't reach out to all the players because uh, yeah there was no like Facebook group or something like that. Um, so we try to develop uh, like uh, that we can speak to the players, that we can reach out to them, that we get some feedback as well. That was the biggest improvement we, we made, and this is very important because if we don't get any feedback, yeah, it's uh, tough to to think about any improvements. Kai, uh, finals on Saturday meaning that you might not attend the full meeting yeah, or, 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 or being at the full meeting not reaching the final. How, how, how's the perfect Saturday looking for you? Uh, the perfect Saturday is maybe, uh, I don't know, I think the finals are in the afternoon, but I, I, yeah, to be honest, I, I haven't uh, thought about the Saturday, but uh, it, would be, it would be nice if I can't join the meeting, so they have to make it without me, so yeah, but let's, let's see. What happens? But at least you get the board meeting on Sunday then. For sure. <laughs>